so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another day of Vlogmas and today I'm going to be talking in a bit of depth about one of my particular reading goals slash projects for 2019 and that is what I'm going to be calling the Trollope Project. Anthony Trollope is one of my favourite Victorian authors and in fact one of my favourite authors of all time. If I had to make a list of my top five favourite authors ever it would probably be Charles Dickens, Elizabeth Gaskell, Jane Austen, Anthony Trollope, maybe Emily St. John Mandel but who is the contemporary person at number five seems to vary depending on the day. Regardless Anthony Trollope would be up there. I think his work is absolutely fantastic and I love his writing so so much. I made a video way earlier on this year talking about why I love Anthony Trollope and about some of the books by him that I have loved so I will link that down below. It's called Let's Talk About Anthony Trollope and I'll also link down below the kind of series week I did uh, reviewing the Barsetshire Chronicles which are one of his series that I absolutely love. But Anthony Trollope wrote 47 novels, he was rather prolific, and I have read at this point 11, which for me is not enough because I know how much I love his books and there's plenty that I've read that I want to reread but I also feel like I need to read more by him before I do that. I mean I have read um, He Knew He Was Right twice which is probably my favourite, although maybe my favourite is The Small House at Arlington, there's no way of knowing, but I would like to read some more new different books by Anthony Trollope before I start going over the ones that I've read before. And also I would like to read some of his lesser well known books because he is mediumly well known, I would say, as a Victorian author, but there are certain books by him, such as The Barshots, The Chronicles, or He Knew Who Was Right, or The Way We Live Now, which are pretty well known. But actually, he wrote, like, so many novels, and a lot of them I have never even heard of. I never hear spoken about, I never read about, and I just thought it would be fun for 2019 to try and read quite a bit more Anthony Trollope. So, the plan of the Trollope project is going to be this. I intend in 2019 to read 12 Anthony Trollope books over the course of the year, effectively one a month, but it won't necessarily end up being one a month because some of them are much longer than others and might take a bit more than a month to read or for example um, I don't know if we might be doing Jane Austen in July again in which case I probably wouldn't read an Auntie Trollope book in July and I don't know what other readathons and so on might be going on in 2019 that I want to join in with so I'm not going to like strictly set to one a month but there are 12 Anthony Trollope books that I'm going to attempt to read in 2019 which will more than double how much Anthony Trollope I have read which would make me very happy and you know aside from like ticking boxes and having completed more of a favourite author's work I just love his books so much I've got such pure enjoyment out of everything I've read by him that I just really want to fill my year with a lot of Anthony Trollope and I think that will improve my 20 2019 because he is such a wonderful writer and because I love his writing style and his characterization and his storytelling and his themes and everything about his writing so so much. I thought what I would do today is tell you about the 12 Anthony Trollope books that are on my TBR for 2019. It's possible that this list might change for example if I hear about another Anthony Trollope book which I feel needs to go further up my priority or if one of you happen to recommend in the comments to this video or another Trollope project video, um, a Anthony Trollope that you would really really recommend I read soon, then I might swap one out for another. It's also possible that I won't get to all 12 in 2019, but 10 or 11 would be nice if not. Obviously if anybody wants to join in with me and also read lots of Anthony Trollope in 2019 that will be wonderful of course and let me know. This is not going to be an official read long though because I feel like that will put too much pressure on me to read one book a month rather than having 12 over the course of the year. But obviously if anybody would like to join in and read the Trollope books do of course let me know. And I think I'm going to be buddy reading the rest of the Palitzer series with Carolyn from Carolyn's Reading Rambles. I'll link her channel down below. I'm not intending to review all of these books individually on a kind of month by month basis but I thought what I might do is every three months or every three books more likely I might make a little Trollope project update letting you know how I'm getting on with reading Anthony Trollope, what I've been reading and how I've been enjoying it and things like that and what kind of new things I'm discovering as I read his more obscure your work and things like that. So let's get into the 12 books. I don't know that much about very many of these and all of the palettes and novels I know next to nothing about because I am wary of spoilers for the earlier books in the series so I don't want to look up anything about the plots and for all of the rest of them I'm slightly wary of spoilers as well so I've done like the bare minimum of research so I have a vague premise for all of these books and not much more but I feel like that's a good way to go into classics especially for me with an author that I love as much as Anthony Trollope. He could write about anything and I would probably enjoy it. I mean that's probably not strictly true 
but I think it's nearly true. The majority of books Anthony Trollope writes, I think I'm going to love. There has not been a single book by him so far which I've read which has let me down. So in January I'm intending to read Phidias Finn. This is an Anthony Trollope novel from 1869 and it is the second book in the Palliser series. I know that Phineas Finn is an Irish member of Parliament and that is all I know about this book. But to explain a little bit about the Palliser series, the Palliser series like Trollope's Barsetshire Chronicles is a series of six interconnected novels so each novel kind of stands to a certain extent on its own but it has characters and places and situations kind of linking through the series and I believe the character of Mr Palliser turns up in every book in the series and quite a lot of the books in the series I believe look at kind of political life and the political scene in London as well. The Phineas Finn is the second book in that series. It is from 1869 and it has 752 pages and I'm very much looking forward to it. For February I intend to read Cousin Henry which is from 1879 and this has 336 pages so what you will see as I go through this list is that I have partly chosen these books on the basis of recommendations from comments and people saying that they had heard good things about them or had read good things about them in books about Anthony Trollope or books that I thought sounded interesting but I've also chosen them on the basis of their page length because the Palitzer novels are all pretty long and if I'm going to be reading a Palitzer every other month which is the plan for 2019 I want to be reading slightly shorter Anthony Trollope novels in between so that like not all of my reading is taken up by Anthony Trollope. So February Cousin Henry 336 pages and apparently Cousin Henry is like many Victorian novels about kind of inheritance disputes and what happens when a squire doesn't pick an heir to his estate Apparently this is one of Trollope's more experimental novels. I don't know what that means because I feel like Anthony Trollope is not a very experimental writer. I believe everything I've ever read by him is in third person past tense and is a chronological narrative following various different characters. So I'm going to be quite interested to see how this might differ. Then in March I'll be reading the third book in the Palzer series, The Eustace Diamonds. This is from 1873 and is 794 pages long and I do not know very much about it at all but it's one of the Palzer series. I'm sure I will enjoy it. In April I plan on reading Miss Mackenzie. This is a novel from 1865 and is 432 pages long so again on the shorter side at least for Anthony Trollope. Apparently this novel takes as its heroine a middle-aged single woman which is fairly unusual in Victorian literature and Miss Mackenzie I believe has suddenly inherited money and therefore suddenly becomes desirable to men around her in a way that she hasn't been before so that sounds really interesting I'm looking forward to that one very much. Then in May will be the fourth book in the Palitzer series this is Phineas Reddux from 1874 and this is 768 pages long and I believe that this one again must focus on Phineas Finn from the book Phineas Finn but that's all I know about it and that's fine. In June I intend to read Is He Popenjoy from 1878 and this has 335 pages. So this is another of the shorter ones and one that sounds really interesting this is one actually I've had on my Kindle for year upon year and just have never got round to reading and I believe this is another one about kind of inheritance disputes and illegitimacy so I think the like premise of the title is is he Lord Popenjoy like is this boy the legitimate or illegitimate heir to the title. I'm always interested in Victorian novels that look at inheritance and illegitimacy so looking forward to that one. And then in July will be the fifth book in the Palitzer series which is The Prime Minister from 1876 and is 864 pages long because Trollope liked to write long books. I'm sure that would be fantastic. Highly looking forward to that one. In August I have The Bertrams from 1859 so this is a bit of an earlier one I think than the rest on this list. The rest on this list tend to be 70s and 80s I think. The Bertrams has 487 pages and apparently includes a lot of world travel and part of the book is set in Jerusalem so that sounds very interesting and that's about all I know about that one. And then in September I will be finally finishing off the Palitzer series with the Duke's Children from 1880 and this one is only 525 pages, very short for the Palitzer series and I'm really looking forward to that one as well. In October I have The Vicar of Bullhampton from 1870 and this is 540 pages so another kind of mid-sized one. This book apparently follows three plot lines, one of which is a kind of romance between the young couple, one is a feud between the high and low church which is a plot line I know I very much enjoyed from the Barsetshire Chronicles and then the third plot line I believe is about a vicar's attempt to rehabilitate a fallen woman so that sounds really interesting as well. In November I intend to read The Three Clarks from 1858 actually this is another slightly early one and this is 648 pages so getting up a slightly bit longer again. I am really looking forward to this one and the only thing I know about it is that it is about the Victorian civil service and if I have one specific really geeky interest it is the Victorian civil service. Absolutely fascinates me. I loved the way Anthony Trollope wrote about the civil service in the last two books of the 
Gloucester Chronicles I found absolutely fascinating and I really 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 want to read more about the Victorian civil service. Then in December I intend to read Lady Anna from 1874. This is 560 pages so another kind of mid-length one. So this sounds really really fascinating. It is about a young woman of noble birth who falls in love with a man quite far below her who is a tailor so really kind of lower middle upper working class for the Victorian period which sounds really really interesting. I also know that Anne from Beyond the Pages started it off in Victober and you can tell that I'm pre-filming this a month in advance when I say that I don't know if she has finished it yet um, but she was certainly really enjoying it when I spoke to her about it at the end of October so I'm looking forward to hearing her thoughts on that probably before this video goes up and looking forward to getting it to myself in about a year's time. So there we have it. Those are the Anthony Trollope books that I intend to read in 2019. I'm really looking forward to this project because I love Anthony Trollope so much and it'll be really nice to read some more by him and it will also mean like I get a kind of good consistent spread of some at least Victorian literature throughout the year because one thing I found in 2018 is that like in Victoria I read a ton of Victorian literature but the rest of the year I didn't actually read that much Victorian literature partly because I've been making a conscious effort to read more non-Victorian classics but also that meant that I felt like I was kind of missing the Victorian period in a few months whereas if I read an Anthony Trollope book every single month I'm not going to be missing the Victorian period at least to the same extent. So that is all I think I have to say for today thank you very much for watching and I'll be back tomorrow with another vlogmas video.